how to set sales goals and plan the projects so that we can achieve these sales goals. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help coaches, consultants, and digital entrepreneurs get clients consistently online without social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. This is going to be a two part video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the updates on my next videos. I post weekly content about online marketing, getting clients and evergreen marketing strategies. Make sure to like this video. It helps me make more videos just like this. Today we're talking about how to set sales goals specifically and how to plan our projects around these sales goals so that we can actually achieve these sales goals. Before we start, let's touch upon the fundamentals of goal setting, which is setting SMART goals, making sure our goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Because a goal is only a dream if we don't have a plan for it. Getting rich is not a goal. Making $5,000 a month is a goal. It's specific, it's measurable, it's time bound, it's realistic, it's achievable. So all of these components needs to be in our sales goal planning. Otherwise, we cannot have a plan of action. So what is your measurable goal for the month? What is your revenue goal? What is your sales call goal? What is your lead goal? These are all relevant when we are setting up our sales goals. And depending on what you want to achieve, the projects you plan around these sales goals is going to make a difference. Do you want to generate revenue and make more sales? Or do you want to grow and scale? Because the activities, and the projects that are going to go around these two different types of goals is going to be different. Do you want to scale or do you want more cash flow? Do you want to make more sales or do you want to generate more leads? Depending on where you are in your business, the activities and the projects around these type of goals are going to be completely different, right? Strategy won't change but the tactics will. We often misuse these two terms and I'm one of the guilty ones for that. Strategy could be paid ads, um, outreach, lead generation, conversion, uh, but the tactics will change. For a paid ad strategy, you may have different tactics like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, or for outreach strategy, you'll have different tactics, maybe Facebook DM engagement, or maybe cold email outreach, or maybe um, phone outreach, right? These are all different. For lead generation, you may have different tactics depending on how you're generating leads. Or for, for traffic, how you're getting traffic, right? The tactics may be different. It could be SEO, it could be social media, it could be different channels. So that's why it's very important for us to set specific and measurable sales goals so that we can plan around the projects. Now, there are four types of goals we need to set in order to achieve our revenue goals, our sales goals. In today's video, we're specifically talking about how to plan the projects so that we can achieve our sales goals. So we're gonna divide our projects that are relevant to our sales goals into four categories as well. Category number one, your content plan. How are you putting more eyes on your content? This is the type of activities you do for becoming more visible, creating more brand awareness and engagement, right? This is the first step. How are people going to see your content? How are you going to get more eyes on your content? The second type of projects you need to work on 
in order to achieve your sales goals is your lead generation projects. And this is about how you're getting traffic to your offer. Now with the content plan, we put more eyes on our content. We became more visible with our content and started creating brand awareness. Lead generation projects, those are to bring the traffic to your offer, free or paid offer. Third category of projects that we need to plan in order to achieve our sales goals is lead nurturing. How are we going to create demand amongst the leads that we have, right? First, we became visible with our content. Second, we brought traffic to our offer. Now that the traffic we bought brought those leads, how are we going to nurture them? How are we going to make them want to have our offer? Fourth category, when it comes to our projects that we want to plan around achieving our sales goals is conversion. This is after we became visible and bring the traffic and nurture our leads who are demanding our offer now, how are we going to actually turn them into clients? Is it through a sales call, through a sales page, through a launch event and such? In the next video, we're gonna go more into detail when it comes to different activities that are involved around these projects. Until the next video, I want you to think about the one measurable goal you want to achieve for the next month. And in the next video, we're going to reverse engineer our goals and break them down into actual activities. All the four types of projects that we're gonna be planning must be aligned with each other so that we can actually achieve our sales goals. Let me know in the comments below, what piece of information was the most useful to you in this video? See you next time.